Today we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee, and we're gonna head into the diner. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. And today we're heading into the diner here in Sevierville, Tennessee. So we're here in Sevierville, we're across the street from Goodwill and Hammers, and there's the Hampton Inn over there. Yeah, they're open from 6.30 in the morning to 8 and 9 on the weekends. Ah, it's a cool little 50s style diner. Let's take a look at this this menu. So we have breakfast that's served all day long. They have uh, bacon, eggs, and a biscuit for $3.95. They also have pancakes. They have premium items. They got a whole country ham for $3.95. Hamburger steak, chicken strips. They also have breakfast burritos. They got American, Southwest. They have a severe skillet for uh, $12.95 and a country skillet for $9.95. They have three egg omelets. They got munchies and crunchies. They got an appetizer, a combo platter, cheese sticks, chicken tender basket, buffalo wings, uh, $9.95. They have zucchini bites for uh, $7.95. Salads and soups. We got a chef salad for $9.95. Uh, charred, charred grilled chicken salad for $9.95. We got a bowl of chili for $6.95 or a cup for $4.95. Our burgers are full one third pound and served on a toasted bun. So they have a turkey burger, bacon cheeseburger, chili burger. They also have a mushroom burger, all beef hot dogs. They have a Cadillac burger, which is an eight ounce Angus steak burger. Hmm. You got an Eldorado, a Sedan DeVille, a Caddy convertible, an elk burger for $12.95. They have a buffalo burger for $12.95. Their sandwiches come with a kosher dill spear and french fries. So they have a cordon bleu, a tuna mill, a dagwood, I also have this uh, New York deli style Reuben. That actually looks really good too. And they got a Philly cheesesteak for $10.95. Hand breaded catfish, grilled chicken sandwich, chicken or tuna salad, and a club. And here are their favorites. They have a baked chicken pie. <laughs> that looks really good too. Spaghetti and meatballs and an open faced roast beef or turkey over Texas toast. Dinner at the diner. Hmm, they have a country fried steak, a chopped steak, a vegetable plate, a sirloin steak. Oh, we got, even got a ribeye. Not too bad for, for steaks. Also got chicken tenders, hand battered catfish, liver and onions. And their sides are $2.25 each. They have okra, fries, grits, spaghetti, cottage cheese. They have a doozy, a uh, brownie banana split, milkshakes, malts, sundaes, floats, and single ice cream scoops. We both ordered side salads, got some ranch, and that's our salad. Hmm. And then Dawn's got the identical salad. Dressing on it. Sit here. 
here enjoying my salad. So I got Mountain Dew with that. And the ceiling's got that old tin. I like that too. And here it is, lunchtime. We got some fries. And here's their Reuben. It looks really good. And what did you get, Dawn? A club sandwich of fries the from white bread. It's got wow. bacon, tomatoes, yeah. um, lettuce. Pretty much I all. Ham and turkey. Pretty much everything a, a club would have. It's a huge club, isn't it? Pretty big. It's a big one. Yeah, a lot there. Large fries. Yeah. <laughs> They're really big. Yeah, a huge <laughs> fry. <laughs> That is huge. <laughs> uh, Dawn loves her clubs, don't you? Definitely looks good. Look at that. And they gave you two pickles. I got two pickles on each side. <laughs> I'm going to try Dawn's club here. Mm. You taste the bacon. Um, the tomato is very um, present in it. It's got American cheese. You can get your choice of cheese. American is really good, though. I think it's uh, really good. Toast is done right. Here are those french fries. I like to mix my ketchup and mustard for my fries together. Is that weird? Are you putting mustard and ketchup together too? Yep. <laughs> Look at that Reuben. It's huge and it's really heavy. There's a lot of corned beef on there. Wow. So it's got kraut. It's got Thousand Island dressing. The rye bread is uh, toasted perfectly. Um, a little soggy on the bottom from the kraut. But well, perfect. A nice tasting garlic pickle usually only give you a few small pieces of corned beef but they loaded it definitely not skimpy i'm going to save this one for later we had two mountain dews a new york reuben two side salads one club sandwich and our total came out to 38.51 i like it when they give us to-go cups someone just went by and i don't know what that was that was funny so that was the diner here in Sevierville. A lot of you guys will pass that on your way to Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. Uh, it's right across the street from the Hampton Inn here in Sevierville, the Goodwill, uh, Hammers. So uh, first off, the atmosphere when you walk in, it's got that 50, 60 style. Uh, yes, it. definitely. It's got the jute box. It's got, it's got the stools you can sit at. You can see them cooking your food behind there and we were welcomed very warmly they sat us down real quick uh everything went real good the service was really good definitely give them two thumbs up on that very friendly so what did you think about it, don what, what did you order what did you have i ordered the club sandwich with french fries and it came up with two dill pickles and i had a side sale before that side sale came up with two cups of ranch and some yes. crackers it was pretty good yeah, um, the salad I thought was perfect. Uh, it was just all the way around. Uh, they had put their onion was really good. The tomato was really good. I had a section of her club and it was really good. Uh, the bacon was um, very prominent in it, which is really good. Uh, the turkey, it was all very ta good tasting. Um, so then I had the Reuben. Now I was talking to our waitress 
and she was saying that they cut the um, their corned beef by hand and everything there is prepared by hand. So that was really cool. Um, and it was really good. It was stacked thick. I mean, it was probably the most packed um, corned beef sandwich I've had here in the Smokies. Uh, really good. I do highly suggest that. Um, the fries were uh, average fry, uh, but they were good. They were hot. That's all you need to know. I put some ketchup and mustard in like I normally do. Uh, it was good all the way through. It wasn't over salty, the fries were. So um, Now, the thing that they're known for is their burgers. We didn't get any burgers, um, but they have a an elk burger. They have a bison burger. Uh, those are very highly recommended by a lot of folks we know come here. So definitely, if you're into burgers, they know burgers here. They have desserts here. Uh, really good. They have a banana split and all that. And um, just really good. But we didn't have enough. In fact, we took a lot of our food home because they give you so much here. So I guess the big question is, Dawn, would you do the diner in Sevierville again? Yes. Definitely. In fact, we come here uh, on, on an average thing. But this is the first time we've ever showed you guys on the channel here. Uh, definitely highly recommended. It's worth to even leave Pigeon Forge to come out here and check it out, especially if it's busy. And that's a tip. If Pigeon Forge is packed to the gills, sometimes you have a better chance of getting in and out of a place and getting food from like some of the businesses out here. Folks, that's going to do it for today here in Sevierville. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. That really helps us and tells us that to keep making more videos. Also, put in the comments below what restaurants, what you would like to see us do next, what attractions, what do you want us to go, which direction do you want us to uh, head. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.